This is the biggest problem with people who see success flipping medical commodities. What's up guys, it's Felix from Giant Lifestyle. So I wanted to make this video for everybody out there who is flipping medical commodities and everybody out there seeing success. Have you ever made two, three, four, five, ten grand in a week flipping medical commodities? Don't you just love how you can literally, how, where you have access to a business that will pay you quickly, where you can get paid upfront for your product, chip your product off, or have your drop, your product dropped off at a location and make 50 to 70% return on your money? What other business do you know, especially if you have success with the medical commodities, where you can literally make money at the snap of a finger? Literally, I've been doing this business for four years. I own three properties, and this business changed my life. But one of the things that I see that is by far the biggest problem with people who flip medical commodities is they get trapped in the business. Now, the first thing that you have to get past is you know actually getting your breakaway in the business. Sometimes it's different for everybody. I have a guy, one of my clients inside the Flipping Medical Commodities University program is I think in his first three to four months, he really wasn't doing nothing. And now he's doing close to 10 grand every single month. He's down to Florida and he's absolutely crushing it. Me personally, I did 6,300 my first month. One of my homies who I actually bought a property with, he did 3,000, some people do 1,000. It's different for everybody, but you know, once you actually get momentum in this business, you're pretty much unstoppable and you can really rack up a lot of money. There's not there's not a rule of thumb that says you can't go out and make 200, 300 grand in your first year. I did 125 grand in my first year and it's totally possible because you really there's not too many components in the business. Once you learn the business, once you know what to do, once you know all the steps, you can make life-changing income. But the thing that people don't see is the long-term game. They just see, I'm gonna go make three, four thousand dollars this week, and you know, it's good money. Three, four thousand dollars a week, that's fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a month. That's you know a full-time income. Literally just flipping medical commodities, flipping diabetic supplies. Also, plug down in the description, you guys can watch a free training explaining the business A to Z. It's only about 30 to 40 minutes, and it will explain the whole business model on how you can tap into a gold mine, man. Literally, in the entire country, keep in mind this business only does work inside the USA. There's probably less than three, 400 people doing this entire business, so it's a true gold mine. But like I said, the biggest problem with people who see success with flipping medical commodities is that they get stuck doing everything. And now while you think, oh, I'll, I'll do everything, I'll, I don't need no employees for three, 4,000, I'm telling you, I went through the problem. I went through the pain. I said, and I just spoke to somebody who's actually out in Ohio who does this, and I think he's doing around $5,000 a week, and he said, it's like I don't even want the money. Once you get to get success, like I was gonna make a video on this earlier, is like you know once you actually start to succeed, you almost become wired with that it's normal. Like me going out and spending two hundred dollars on a dinner, me making five thousand dollars in a week, me buying designer clothes, me having great experiences, me meeting millionaires, it's normal now. And I won't settle for anything less. And me settling for doing all the work in my business, meeting with uh, clients every day, picking up their medical commodities, and doing all the parts of the business that I don't wanna do, and that takes me away from working on other parts of the business, like buying rentals. That's my new thing, man. I'm not really gonna be doing too many fix and flips. Me and my two real estate partners, yeah, we're gonna be doing you know fix and flips maybe one to three a year, but the goal, man, is to get strictly rentals. Man, if I get 10, 15 rentals, 20 rentals by the age of 30, who says I can't just chill? I'm not gonna forever retire, but you know, I've seen that as I've been making more money, that um, you know, one of my businesses already this month has done seven thousand dollars. So, you know, it's 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 crazy powerful what happens when you start making more money and you you really start to hold yourself to a higher level of expectation. So the biggest problem by far with people who start to see success with big medical commodities is they don't automate it. You don't want to be stuck in the same in the in, in your business at the same level you are when you first start to 5 years later. You know, I heard by Robert Kiyosaki, he said if you can't step away from your business and allow it to run, then you don't have a business. You have a job or you have a hobby. I still check in on my business, flipping med my flipping medical commodity business, but I literally have two employees. That's all I need. Two employees that basically run my entire ship. I probably dedicate, I don't know, five to 10 hours a month, and I collect a check every single week. Depending on when we invoice, 
I collect a check every week. Sometimes every other week, it'll just be a bigger check, but that's what it is, man. You don't want to get trapped. Even if you're making five, 10 grand a week, I'm telling you, you're going to want to think and you're going to want to level up. Eventually, you're going to get tired and burnt out and be like, man, man, this is good money, but I don't want it. I don't want it. You hold yourself to a higher level expectation. You might say, okay, now I want the five grand a week. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll do it forever. But I'm telling you, in the beginning, it's cool. But eventually, you want to level up. Even in the beginning, like, you know, five years ago, I could not imagine being in the position I'm in now. I could not imagine that in April, five years ago, because April, I made $82,000 between my consulting company, my flipping medical commodities company, and my fix and flip or my real estate company. I made, my real estate deal did 62 grand, my flipping medical commodities company um, did about just under 15, and then you know my consulting company picked up the rest of the revenue. But I could not imagine that would happen five years to date that I started, or I dropped out of college, no. I think five years to date was when I really got you know, balls to the wall with entrepreneurship was like, you know, I really started December 2013, but I didn't really start taking action until April of 2014. And um, it's crazy what can happen over a time span, but you, you can't even believe it. But I would not settle for where I was five years ago today. I would not settle. So it's really about, you know, yeah, you start to see success, but it's really about hitting those KPIs and getting to the next level, man. You don't want to be stuck at the same level you are where you are now doing the same things you're doing five years later. It's good if you're if you're just starting to see success in your business, rock it and get your money up and get your client list up. But you have to start automating. That's not just with flipping medical commodities. That's with any business. You have to start putting systems into your business eventually. You don't have to do it right off the gate. You can get the ball rolling. You can get your money up. But eventually, you have to automate. Don't get trapped in the business, no matter how good the money is, because you don't have a business, you have a job. If you don't go meet your clients, if you don't do your invoicing, if you don't do it, how do you make money? If I go on vacation for the rest of July, I still make money inside my business. I take no calls, I do no client meetings, I do nothing and I still make money. That's the way that you crush the business of flipping medical commodities. The people who have teams in this business change their life forever because this business could, this business is secure but it's not as secure as real estate. And that's why I take every single dollar that I make from this business and dump it into properties. So. That's the biggest problem. I love this business. This business changed my life. If you guys want to learn how to flip medical commodities for yourself, click the description below. I'm about to go out and get some food, man. I took a nap uh, earlier this earlier tonight. It was around like 8 or 9 o'clock. I just knocked out. But uh, yeah, I had to make that video, man, because you don't want to get trapped in the business. No matter how good the money is, think long term. Where do you want to be in five years? A lot of people don't think about that, especially the people who don't even aren't even involved in personal development entrepreneurship. They're not thinking where you're gonna be in five years because five years, time flies, man. I'm gonna be 25 years old next month. Don't play with time because time doesn't play with you. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe with post notifications now. We're almost at 2,500 subscribers and make sure to follow me on Instagram at I am Giant Lifestyle. See you guys later, peace.